Hi, second graders. So this week, we are going to be learning about character traits. What kind of traits or the way characters are, their personality, that makes us fall in love with characters or despise them? Because sometimes the antagonists will despise. Well, I'm going to read to you a story today called No David. And No David's character traits are pretty obvious and will be easy for us to um, identify. So let me show you what I mean. No David by David Shannon. No David. David's mom always said no. No, David. Coloring on the walls again. No, David. No, David, no. Creating a big mess to the living room. No, no, no. Uh-oh, this time he's flooding the bathroom. Come back here, David. David, be quiet. Don't play with your food. That's enough, David. Go to your room. Oh, look at how mad he is right there. Settle down. Stop that this instant. Especially with COVID, right? You <laughs> put your toys away. Not in the house, David. Can you imagine how upset your parents would be if you tried to play baseball in the house with a real baseball? I said no, David. Davy, come here. Yes, David, I love you. Now, we know from this story that David is messy, he's naughty, he's noisy, but yet he's still very lovable. And you wonder, well, how do you get lovable out of all the bad stuff? Well, because he showed his mom at the very end that he was pretty remorseful. Look at, he's crying. He didn't really mean to be that bad. He just wants her to know that he loves her. And he wants to know he's loved still. Look at that. How sweet. It is characters that make us love books. Well, I believe. What kind of characters draw us to them? Are they ones that are similar to us? Are they ones that are very different from us? Well, characters um, in that story, most of us are not that naughty. And that's what makes that story funny because he's daring to be that naughty, kind of live vicariously through him. But yet we also can be drawn to him because we can understand how he would feel bad, right? Some other stories that draw us to them based on the character's traits, I know one is especially Pigeon. I think we all love Pigeon because he's persistent. He keeps trying and keeps trying, doesn't he? And he's kind of funny and a little mischievous, too. Another story with sweet characters, and might be why kids love to keep going back, is Elephant and Piggy. They're just such good, sweet friends that it draws us to all their books. Now, have any of you heard this story read out loud before? Or maybe you've read it, The World According to Humphrey? Well, this is a hamster. Who doesn't love hamsters? And to imagine that a hamster could talk? Like, this would be the hamster. The, the author makes the character very believable, even though he's not. It's a fiction story, because hamsters can't really talk. But if they could, this is what they would be like, would be Humphrey. 
Another example is in Charlotte's Web. We have a lot of conflict in Charlotte's Web, right? If you haven't read the story, this is a for sure must read. But there's lots of animals that just tug at our hearts, and we love the compassion that Fern, the main character, has. Well, I shouldn't say main character. Actually, Wilbur would be the main character. But Wilbur is the sweetest pig and just makes all readers fall in love with them. Now, sometimes, like I said, traits can be funny or mischievous. Well, in this story, I think some of us can relate to Rupert because his friends won't stop talking. He can't get a word in edgewise. So he finally gets very mad and he just breaks and yells, Be quiet! So these two are bossy and intrusive, while Rupert is kind of introverted and just finally breaks. But he's hilarious. Sometimes how a character looks is enough to draw us to them. In the story, Bear says thanks. Bear is so adorable. Like, who couldn't love that bear? Let me show you a better up-close picture of him. Here's a good one. Look at his eyes. His facial features. The illustrator has drawn him in such a way that we just fall right away for him. And then in another story, this one I find super funny, is called Mother Bruce. And he is hilarious. One, I think the author has kind of captured us with how he looks because he's snuggly and looks sweet. But yet he tries to act really grumpy. But his actions are different than his words. So he says grumpy things, but he acts in a sweet way. So you're going to get a chance to read a story today about Tough Cookie. And I want you to identify some of Cookie's traits. Good luck.